Hello everyone, we've received a good amount of positive feedback from the first quarter town hall, so we plan to continue down this path of having a clear, easy to understand quarterly presentation, followed by a frank and direct discussion. As a reminder, this town hall format is intended to provide an informal forum for our nationwide audience to ask questions from Wall Street to Main Street, from Silicon Valley to Washington, D.C. If we're going to achieve our long-term mission of making the U.S. the safest country in the world, we're going to need the entire country engaged. And part of that is communicating directly with you consistently. Of course, any and all figures presented today in this presentation of the financial highlights from our recently filed quarterly report on Form 10-Q should be read in full context of the company's recent regulatory filings and risk factors, all available for you at ir.nightscope.com. All right, but before we get to the financial results, I wanted to cover two specific items. First, we did it. We successfully cleared both compliance deficiencies from NASDAQ, and Nightscope is now back in good standing with the exchange. I wanted to take a moment to thank all of our supporters as all of you are an integral part of the Nightscope extended team in helping make the long-term mission a reality. Without our investors, we can't move forward, but with our investors, hey, the sky's the limit. Second, we are following through on our commitment to our investors that we stated on the 18th of July. Market manipulation, disclosure violations, and tortious interference are serious crimes. Nightscope is conducting an investigation and is considering legal action in support of our stockholders. To that end, we have begun the process of filing a formal complaint with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in response to what we believe to be unethical and potentially illegal conduct against Nightscope and its investors. Uh, it's unfortunate that we're working hard to make communities in our country safer, but now we have to also deal with bad actors in the financial markets. Okay, with that said, let's get to the numbers. Last year in 2022, we recorded 5.6 million in aggregate revenue for the year, reflecting an over 60% growth rate from the prior year in 21. For the six months ended June, 2023, we booked approximately 6.5 million in revenue, putting us on an over $12 million annual revenue run rate, well over double last year. That's right not only double digit growth over 2022 but literally potentially doubling the company's revenue by the end of 2023 as i often say the rise of the robots is happening and it's happening now additionally as of 30th of july 2023 the company had a total backlog of approximately 4.9 million dollars comprised of 2.1 million in new orders for related autonomous security robots or asrs and 2.8 million related to new orders for our portfolio of K1B products, which include the K1 blue light towers, e-phones, and call boxes. During the first quarter of 23, we recorded 2.9 million in revenue for the first three months of the year, and I'm pleased to report that during the second quarter, we increased our quarterly performance and booked 3.6 million in revenue, an over 20% quarter over quarter increase. Our ongoing efforts to reduce costs and improve our gross margins has also begun to take effect. We reflected a gross loss during the first quarter of 23 of about $0.2 million or negative 7% to now a gross profit for the second quarter of 9,000 or approximately 0.3%. Reaching slightly better than break even at the gross profit level marks a significant milestone for the company as we continue to pave our path to profitability. On a six-month percentage basis from 2022 to 2023, gross margins moved dramatically from a negative 62% to a negative 3%. A significant driver of this improvement is due to healthy margins attributed to K1B product sales and continued maintenance services across our install base of over 7,000 units nationwide. As we communicated last year, we believe that the acquisition of case emergency systems would be accretive and we are pleased with the financial results posted for the first six months of this year. Our continued focus on decreasing our costs contributed to producing and servicing ASRs has begun to yield results. As we often stated, the machine as a service or mass business model creates a unique set of circumstances. 
While the subscription model provides Nightscope with a predictable revenue stream, the technology we produce is not only highly complex, it also requires a certain fixed cost basis to operate. But as we scale, those fixed costs can be spread out over more and more units and eventually provide strong leverage for our recurring revenue business model. As the company continues to scale, we believe additional significant margin improvements will continue as part of our plan to reach profitability by end of 2024. And to reiterate, Nightscope delivers a recurring revenue business model for a recurring societal problem. Comparing the first half of 22 to first half of 23 on a per share basis, we improved significantly from a 26 cent loss per common share to a 14 cent loss per common share. As we prior noted, we plan to continue growing the company and we believe our sales pipeline is healthy and increasing sales will allow us to grow, drive economies of scale and better leverage our fixed cost base. Although not yet completely addressed, some of the supply chain issues have begun to subside, which we also believe will aid in reducing lead times, enabling us to improve cash flow and recognize revenue in a much more timely manner. Our cash on hand at the end of 2022 was $4.8 million, and our cash and cash equivalents at the end of the second quarter of 2023 was approximately $5.8 million. Also, as previously disclosed, the approximately $6 million of convertible notes secured in connection with the acquisition of Case were fully extinguished by the end of the second quarter of 2023. We'll now transition to the live portion of the town hall for questions from our longtime investors, new retail investors, institutions, and analysts. Thank you.